hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley and this is another ts tech talks video on today's video guys i'm going to show you how to um receive a message and translate a message on your telegram app um exactly we are not going to be making use of only telegram app we are going to be making use of other external software or or um browsers so um this is what i actually mean by translating a message now if you're chatting with somebody and the person is using an international um, language for you you notice right here where there is a message there are a couple of message i sent to myself from the other account um making use of a chinese language now even though you don't know this particular language you can go ahead and translate this to understand what it's talking about now let me go ahead and do this and i'm going to show you guys how to do this there are two ways to do this actually first we are going to make use of our chrome browser to make use of the google translator and then we are going to download another app it's also a google app on our phone and it can help us to do this also now let's go to our first step so the first thing you need to do is to go ahead and copy the particular message that you want to translate now go ahead and click on this copy section on the top areas to copy it to your clipboard now go ahead and open any browser i prefer to make use of google chrome now if you open your browser just go ahead and type in translator then it's going to search for the google translator it's actually going to be the first thing that displays now you notice it actually says um africa for the first option go ahead and click on this first option and then make sure you make it to dictate the language so that it will automatically dictate the language now in this video i'm assuming you do not know the person's language so somebody send you a message in a unique language and you don't know the language so just make sure you have this detect language on click and hold on the first option and then paste on it now you are going to notice um the translation is going to display below so the translation is actually hello there so it's actually um not going to be there you know it's going to be d-e-r d-e-a-r as there so now um that's the first translation and we can also make use of this same option and still translate that particular message actually is pretty much um very close things but um i just i just needed to i just needed to make it different so this is giving me like a different result is actually not accurate because it's supposed to be hello dear now let me see let me go ahead and change this up this is actually chinese and it's supposed to say hello there but for some reason it's not giving me those um particular result you notice it below say ni hao right so that is actually what i want to show you guys but then another way to translate this stuff is to go ahead and make use of the google translator app all you need to do is to open um, your google play store and then search on translator i'm trying to see if it's giving me the accurate word I'm looking for the google translator okay there you go this is the google translator now i'm going to go ahead and install this so while it's installing i'm going to pause this video for it to complete the installation and then i'm going to come back while it has completed all right so um the google translator is complete now i'm going to open it up and set it up then i should allow some permission and the download has started so it's going to take a while to download some couple of languages so um i need to like get some languages downloaded so that it will easily um give a voice transcript a voice transcript of that particular language now um guys let's go ahead and make use of the google translator on this on this test also so to make use of the google translator all you need to do is to click and hold copy the image um after you've used the google translator for the first time it will always 
pop up um, the translator for you to make use of on any application that you are using. So um, it's on default English. I'm going to set this to be the Tate language also. Paste it here and then wait for it. Now um, you notice what it discovered is Hola. And then the translator is also displayed here. So it will always um, give me the translator. And then I'm going to turn it on so that I'll be able to make use of this permission so that it's going to be turned on and displayed on the left hand side for me. And then um, this is Chinese and it's giving notice. 你好. So that is the Chinese translation of the and it's translating it to spanish instead of english so i'm going to change this to english then choose english now you notice it says hello there right now another thing let me try to copy the second one once you hit um once you click on that particular image, you notice the translator display right here. So once you click on the translator, it should um, pick that particular image. Now, let me go ahead and copy and open. Um, you see, it picks that particular language. But actually, it's still not getting the exact language. It's still dictating a different language. Now, let me just tell it that I'm actually looking for Chinese so i'm going to manually choose chinese i can't see chinese right there because it actually detected the wrong language okay there you go so it's still not giving a an accurate translation for me and for some reason you know what let's go ahead and check out this other one so once you copy that particular stuff, I think this one is accurate. Once you copy that particular stuff and then it, it will automatically um, pop up your Google Translator. And once you click on the Google Translator, no need for you to paste it. So it actually know that you want to translate that particular word. So you notice this is actually the word and it's very accurate because that is actually what I put in initially. But for some reason, it's not getting this second one accurate. The second one is hello there. But for some reason, Google is not getting that particular um, um, translator correct. So there is nothing much for this video apart from the fact that it gets you um it gives you most of the words accurate but for some reason it doesn't get them perfectly well for you so uh, most time if you're chatting with somebody you might translate it and get something close to what the person is saying but you won't get perfectly well what the other person is saying not for every language though when it comes for um when it comes for some languages, it gets them accurate. But for some language, it doesn't always get them right. So I think this is all for the video. But I'm still going to round up saying that this is close to OK. But it's not very perfect and not exactly what you might want to look for. But I think this will help you a lot in translating every language. Thank you for guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more video. And... I'm going to see you on my next video. Stay safe, guys. Peace.